All right, let's play this in full. Here's a longer piece, no sound. There are some stepped moments, some linear moments. And this is flirting dangerously. You are wondering if this can be kept as a long piece or having edits in there. Okay, some of the staging, I think we could tweak a little bit. <laughs> cool. It's definitely long. And uh, you mentioned that we could potentially just cut this up on a reel and show different shots in between. Okay. I think as a whole, it's a cool idea. I like it. I got a couple of questions. Do you want to be... <clears throat> since we see her from profile, I mean, a couple of things. This is totally up to you. Could you or would you consider turning her over so we don't see her wings? So that now, ba -ba, that's the wing reveal. Then, as we might not completely understand what's going on, would you also do this and then do a little flutter? Or do you really want this to be that is the reveal? I think either is fine. It's just a question for you. Because then you can play with little things where she might do this and then right at the very end, do a little bit of a turnaround again and then flutter wings. It's just a thought. But as a shot, you know, if you want to cut this shorter, it could also be something where you start here. Like you don't have to have this whole entrance, for instance. So if this could be something, again, maybe turn over. Let's pretend this would be shorter. This could be all those moments where she's a bit more facing him. But you don't see the wings. She just does this. We get the point that she's flirting and looking away, and then she could have another look, <clears throat> maybe compensating for not looking here, right? Where she does that wink. So what if it starts here to here? She turns around, winks, and as she turns, does the flutter or flutter and then wink? It's almost like I got wings, wink, wink, for whatever reason. This one, I'd be careful because we are, we are fairly close to edges here. I think you'd be okay potentially cheating and having him here. What do we see here? Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't think anybody will care. So just for balance, you might have him here so that they're closer and you're going to have that, move that camera over so she has a bit more room. It's basically that she would be here and he would be here type of thing. Because as we're doing this, it's just a bit uncomfortable how close to the edge he gets all the time. And her as well, where just me, this seems a bit more comfortable. But then it's still a lot of empty space. So my question is, what are you trying to show in this shot? She's walking. He's walking, but then he's gone. She walks to the edge and does this. I mean, to me, it seems like you can do all of this, right? And she can do the wink, the turnaround wink. And imagine that edge is already here. Again, I'm talking in a way that's completely <laughs> destruct destructive and uh, destroying your shot. But just uh, as a um shot shortening idea right so you start here go back she stops winks um, again flutter turn around wink or turn around wink flutter just to kind of get the audience interested like what is it oh, she's she's got wings and then you would start the shot here i mean you can go crazy and what you can do is start here walk walk this or you can be even crazier where you do this, stop, turn around, wink, whatever thing you hear, and the edge is here. And then we cut to this, right? Turn around, jump, if that makes sense. So let's go back just to be super clear. She is here, edge is here. She turns around, but don't have a turn back. She looks at him, and then we cut to this shot where, again, he might be here. And that way we see a bit of a reaction in him as she jumps down. So you compress this whole thing. But basically it's just a one ginormously long walk. Which I'm not sure on a demo reel if that's needed that it's so long. It's, it's losing a bit of focus and interest. So like I said, what if she turns around and doesn't look back. And the look back happens here. And then she does. Here I'd be careful probably not going so close. Because we're starting to get very edgy here. It's a bit too close. I would probably stay within like that type of framing. Maybe at the end, when she gets to here, we can get closer. Like, that's where the camera ends. So she's leading the camera, but it's still more comfortable. She can do that. That's all cute. I'd be careful with not doing this. 
that's probably just the key. I would just, you know, cut here, not have that. That's like introducing one more thing right before the cut. But then you can do this. That's all cute. He can do that. And she, do, she does this here. Jumps to pick him up into that. And that's really cute. I think that could all work. It's still fairly long, but let me just see. So let's pretend you shorten this whole thing. She jumps down, does this. It's really cute. You see all of this. Question for you. Do you want her to blow him a kiss but still look? Or does she not care? But she's still looking there, right? I mean, it could also be just kiss and she still looks. And then he goes down, does this. That's fine. I think just for a visual thing, I would just cheat this surface and bring it all the way up. And I know this is technically not what it is in 3D space, but it almost feels like it's not that high, it's not that dangerous. But just to kind of cheat the feeling of he fell down the cliff, I would personally just cheat this and have this all rock face. But then she goes up, picks him up. Again, this could be a bit further away, so we can see a bit more. You don't have to, but I'm wondering if it could be just be a bit further away. Maybe. I don't know. Actually, I take this back. I think it should be okay, and you can really focus on on the head and it should be messier and not so clean so that maybe he's turned a bit towards us and he can look down or well i know he's transfixed by her but is, is he always at what point does he snap out of it i mean that's a question for you um or maybe he just always looks at her but she looks around so we can see more of the face or this is all about mechanics and you catching this character and, and the weight of it totally up to you because we are cutting back to this then let me just see this also seems long she puts him down fine and has that reaction of come on wake up no oh, that should be fine no it's cute i think that could be okay just uh my question to you is that uh i mean at this point he gets shaken and laughs but is he always completely transfixed? I mean, he's completely hypnotized all the time. I wonder, would that be an interesting thing of waking him up and doing something? Is that, like I said, something where this actually wakes him up? Maybe he's all freaking out, freaking out until she does this. And that moment of pause gets it back into, oh, and he's back into leaning forward and being la, 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 stars in his eyes. And then they continue. That could be an interesting contrast for him. So that scare wakes him up. And she does that. You know, like, come on. There's, maybe that's less of a wake up more like, calm down, calm down. It's fine. It's fine. And then she has that look. And then he gets back to being hypnotized type thing. Uh, and then they walk out. I don't know. That's a thought. Lots of thoughts. Lots of crazy thoughts. Let me know. Um, you are open to cut changes, you say. But I don't know. So I'm throwing things out there. Let me know what works for you thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you